What's up? Uh, how you doing? I apologize about that intro. It might have been uh, might have been a little too much. <laughs> I'm all like, you like my hair? It's cool, huh? <laughs> oh gosh, dude. <laughs> no, but but on the real note, uh, this is actually my my dream hairstyle. For those of you that have been subscribed to my channel for a few years at least by now, then you obviously know that I've wanted this haircut since forever but I've never had the balls to do it. But now that I did, uh, now I'm just, I'm straight flexing, dude. Now I'm straight flexing on all you kids, on all you kiddos. You know, sometimes, uh, sometimes you gotta, you gotta flex on them. You gotta, you gotta flex. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Recently, about a month and a half ago, I uh, completely buzzed my head. And now since my hair has, you know, been growing out just a little bit since then, I've now been able to achieve my dream cut. The crew cut and so if you are looking to do the same but you're still not quite sure if you want to take that risk and go this short i made a little pros and cons list just to make things clear for you so let's go ahead and start it off with the cons first i always like to get just the negative bad stuff out the way first that's just me and one of the major cons is that you are going to have to visit a barber at least once maybe every two weeks or so so you're gonna have to go to the barber quite often because if you are not keeping up with this hairstyle um, and making sure that it looks nice and sharp and nice and trimmed up, it's gonna start looking dull pretty fast. Another thing is that you can't really style your hair. Um, the only thing you can really do is just add texture to it. You know, you can't part it, you can't add volume to it. But I don't know, for me that's kind of a pro, not really a con, but I'll go ahead and discuss that in a little bit. And the last con, for those of you that may feel like you have a weird shaped head or something, um, this definitely emphasizes your head shape. But I don't know, I feel like most people who think that they have a weird head shape, um, I feel like they think that their head is shaped more weird than it actually is. Every time someone who has came up to me and said, I have such an awkward, you know, weird shaped head, I'll look at them and I'll be like, it's just a head, like your head, your head's fine, bro. Like it looks good. By the way, before I go ahead and jump into today's pros, I do want to mention that I have a 10% off discount code for all Shavu hair products, which is my brand. And if you buy our bundle kits, you get even more of a percentage off, which is great. We really take pride in not just giving you a dope hairstyle, but also providing your hair with amazing nutrients. So your hair remains at its healthiest state possible. I'll be sure to put that discount code and all the links down in the description. Now going into the pros, which I think that there are a lot of. Um, one of the major pros is that you simply can't have a bad hair day. Like it's, it's impossible. Your hair's too short to even have a bad hair day. The second is that it gives you that perfect balance of toughness and gooks, you know, good looks. I felt like when I had my shaved head, I liked it, but I felt like it was just straight up like a tough, rugged look. And then when I've had more voluminous hairstyles, I felt like that was, I felt like that was very pretty boy-ish. So I feel like having the crew cut kind of meets in the middle, which I really like. And honestly, at the end of the day, uh, most women prefer a guy that has a little bit of ruggedness within his style. Another thing for those of you that want a buzz cut eventually, uh, this kind of eases you into that, into getting a buzz cut. For those of you that are hella scared of getting a buzz cut, this kind of prepares your mind since a crew cut is, you know, it's kind of like a grown out buzz cut in a way. And the last pro is that you barely even have to style it. In fact, all you really have to do is just add in a little bit of clay just to give it some texture, which for me, this is a huge pro. The quicker I can just do my hair, get it out of the way and stop looking at myself in the mirror, the better. You know, it's so easy to get caught up in self-absorption, whether that be trying to impress others with your looks, your style, your talents, your possessions, whatever. I've been doing it for years. And honestly, I'm, I'm still struggling with it. I'm, I'm still struggling with my insecurities. Uh, and I'm just trying to find my way and devote my focus to things that are of more significance. It's hard just when you think you're on this path of righteousness and things are going great. Uh, you know, some 12 year old little boy writes a nasty comment in the comment section and it subverts your mood. You know, you, you could get, you can get a hundred applause, but the second that one person in the crowd boos you. That's honestly where our focus tends to set upon. And this can be very destructive living this way. And right now I'm just trying to learn how to protect myself, be gentle with myself, have that conversation with myself on the daily. It's that silent sermon, that one between me, myself and God. So if you're battling with the same thing I am and your focus is on trying to impress others, trying not to get hated on, um, 
you know, you're gonna lose yourself, much like I have. But without getting all preachy about it, you know, with God, He'll make your path straight. And when you start to get into a rhythm with Him on the daily, um, you know, He, you're gonna start to care less of what others think, and you're gonna start to hone in on what He thinks about you which is that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. So my apologies, I kind of went off on a little rabbit trail there, but uh, you know, this is, to me, this is, this is vital to human existence. But anyways, if you're still watching at this point, I just want to say thank you so much. Thank you for listening. I feel really blessed. For those of you that want to go for that crew cut, I highly encourage you just to go for it. It's 2020, so you know, it's the start of a new decade, so why not kick this thing off right? Kick off your decade by stepping outside of your box. It'll make you feel stronger, more motivated, and even more pumped to step outside of your comfort zone in all areas of your life as well. So if you dug today's video, please be sure to give it a nice big thumbs up. It'd mean the world to me. And hit that notifications button to be informed when I drop new content. And also, I do have my Patreon page set up. So if you guys want to check out exclusive content from me, uh, be sure to hit the link down in the description below. You guys can sign up today for just four bucks and get all this exclusive content that you can't get anywhere else. With that said, thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll see you in 2020. We've got a great year, a great decade ahead of us. I'll see you soon. My name is Dre Jaxler. Shakabra.